Let's bring in investment analyst from Afri Invest, Eric Monsele Aziba, to review the markets with us. And of course, investors, what likely will be driving investors' sentiments going into the new week, which happens to also be the last trading week for the month of March. A good morning to you, Eric Monsele. It's good great to have you on the show. It's nice. So, we started the week uh, on quite an interesting note, even though most investors had actually factored in the CBN's probable stance, the Monetary Policy Committee, I beg your pardon, stands on rates. So we had the Monetary Policy Rates, Mon uh, Monetary Policy Committee meeting Monday and Tuesday. And we also had OMO auctions this week yes, as well. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about how most of this actually shaped investors' um, sentiments for this week. Okay, thank you. Uh, what we saw in the market was a, a quite bullish uh, start to the market especially looking at the fixed income market. We had a lot of buying interest on Monday and, and Tuesday, but we also saw some sort of liquidity squeeze in the market owing to the, the debit of the OMO auction that was carried out on previous, on previous Friday, as well as the, the debit for the special market intervention um, fund by the, by the CBN. And this sort of squeezed liquidity levels. So on Wednesday, we saw some sort of reversal in, in market trend as, as we saw a lot of selling, selling activity as opposed to what we saw at the, at the start of the week. But as regards the MPC decision that was made, we strongly believe a lot of investors had already factored this into their investment decision. So we didn't necessarily see any knee-jerk reaction from, from the decision. But one thing we've noticed since the beginning of the week is the forceful convergence between uh, the, at, at the currencies market now, between the official rate and, of course, the street rate. As at yesterday, at the interbank over the counter, we had the Naira at 308 Naira to a dollar. And at the parallel market, it was fluctuating. But somehow, you know, ended at 400 Naira at the end of the day. But coming into the studio now, I heard that has changed. That's about 300, it's around 385, 390 Naira. So is it, um, is it time for investors to get excited now about the markets or is there anything else that you feel is actually driving this? So what we're looking at is um, this, with this CB, a lot of concerns have been raised as regards the sustainability of this new drive by the CBN to continue to intervene in the market. But well, we've seen it carry on for about a month now, and we've seen rates fall from about 520 Naira down to 390, like you said. So that massive spread that used to exist between the official rates and parallel market rates has also been um, um, reduced. But what we're seeing is looking at some of all the other macroeconomic um, fundamentals, looking at uh, uh, GDP inflation, even though we had a contraction in February as, as a result of a high base effect, most of these macroeconomic indicators still remain rather weak. And this um, has sort of weighed on investor sentiment. So there's still a lot of investors who are waiting on sidelines to see if there's any some sort of structural improvement that could stoke their appetite for, for Nigerian um, equities and then we can see a return of investors. So what factors really affected investment sentiments, investor sentiments this week? Because uh, from the equity side, we've talked about the fixed income side of, the, of things now, but from the equity side, we still saw uh, a trickle of results coming in. Some were quite impressive enough to, you know, to excite investors, but some not so much. Yeah, so, so what we've seen is, um, we, we've seen a lot of speculative short-term trading by investors over the past, over the past weeks. Um, what, what we saw this week was um, the market actually opened um, positive on Monday, up about seven basis points, which ex extending the bullish run which began in previous week to the fifth consecutive day. But on Tuesday, we saw a reversal in, in this trend uh, when the market dipped. Same thing on Wednesday as well as Thursday. So we would likely attribute this to profit taken by investors in counters that had appreciated in the, in the previous week. Uh, nevertheless, uh, despite the, the declines that we've seen, we've actually seen the level of declines contract as, as, the, as the week uh, went on. Like mm -hmm. you mentioned earlier, the market was rather unchained yesterday, and we believe that we might see some bargain hunting today, so the market might actually appreciate today. But in terms of looking at the week-on-week -week performance, we still expect it to be in negative. Mm, and that's a little... well. Investors actually, well, most market watchers actually expect that to be happening, especially as you already mentioned, profit taking across most of the major market uh, counters. But 
In terms of sector specific now, give us your assessment of how the various sectoral indices have actually fared, at least for this week. Uh, so we've seen uh, in, in the industrial goods um, index, uh, following the results, that the WAPCO res Lafarge result that was released, which was broadly better than um, expected, we've seen a lot of investors um, take position in this stock, and this has lifted the industrial goods sector as Dangote Cement, which is largest um, capitalized stock, has remained rather unchained um, um, during the week. So the industrial goods sector has been one of one of the um, good um, performing uh, sectors. Um, looking at the banking sector also, um, at the start of the week we had some um, buying interest in some of the banking uh, bellwethers. But as I, um, yesterday we saw um, sell-offs across most of the most of the tier one banks, so this sort of led to a reduced uh, performance in, in the in the sector. So across most of the other sectors, we've seen a rather flattish um, performance week on week, given that we saw some appreciation at the start of the week and we started to see some declines now. Mm. Erwin Sele, we're going into the last trading week, uh, effectively for the month of March. And uh, looking at the, the way March has been, would you see would you say it's been an interesting month for investors? Well, year on year. Uh, well, uh, looking looking at the performance, we believe it's been broadly shaped by the expectation of earnings releases that that have come out, which haven't really been too impressive. I mean, it's majorly the tier one banks that have actually released um, impressive Im impressive results. So, I think it's it's investors who have taken position in these uh, counters that would have benefited majorly from um, market performance during 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 the month of, of March. And as you know, we also had the FGN savings bond. And we had the FGN so, savings so that bond. So was, that was quite also an interesting yes, time which, of the market. Which was, yes, which was uh, quite, it, it was greeted well. I mean, there was, a, 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 like you mentioned earlier, over $2 billion, um worth of subscription to, to the instrument. And the, the next one will be launched um, next month, and we expect to see increased um, interest in, in this instrument. And of course, they're coming to the Nigerian Stock Exchange next week to, yeah, to list be, it. To so be listed also. So it's, 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 it's quite positive for, for, for the market. All we can hope for is that investors actually take advantage of this, and, and we expect to see some improvements. All right, so fingers crossed on that one. Erwin Sele, Aziva Investment Analyst with Afri Invest West Africa Limited. Thank you so much thank for you, coming Harriet. on the program this morning. And wrapping up the week for us,